what's up YouTube, now today I've got a really nice British 60 pounder fuse adapter from a World War 1 shell now the steel work on this is in really nice condition, it's still thick, not too much rust layers on it I've painted this one up and I've put the yellow lines on and all the black paint and polished the fuse and everything and now I'll, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like, or what it did look like when I bought it now yeah, so now you can see that that wasn't really in too good of a condition. So now I'm going to take the fuse off the adapter. Now this is quite interesting because normally you don't get this brass ring out of the adapter. It normally just rusts in there, but I've managed to get it out, which is a nice effect. And then you can see that the steel work completely hollow and the threads are in good condition. I don't know if the camera can pick this up because of the paint is over it but on the steel work around this rim there is lines from when it has originally been spun and produced in the factory so that shows how good the brass work has connected, kept the condition of the steel when it's been over the top of it so that is the adapter, still got the original grooves or teeth as you may call them around the bottom of the adapter where it would fit into the shell and so onto the fuse it's really nice condition, not too much damage, well, barely any damage. The timer ring spins around really easy, remarkably easy actually. And the threads are all in reasonable condition, the bottom's good condition. So taking this, the brass adapter off, one does quite quickly. Long threads on this fuse because it was in the 60 pounder so it had to take quite a lot of force and as you can see there's the adapter there so anyway onto the number 83 itself and it has various markings on the top of it number 83 I R slash L a strange marking there which could be a date which is 616 although it is corroded and then the lot number which is 105 and on the way into the unscrewing part cap comes off really easy as expected I'll just zoom in a bit and there is a hairline crack in the top there but that just doesn't doesn't really affect the fuse and it also has a G in there which is a strange place to mark it but it has a G marked now onto the other ring, this one is the one with the, um, the really odd section in there which sort of runs through, if I can just get that out. So that's hollow and these are the parts that came out of it. Anyway, on to the next part. Also, you can see with the two pins on this one, the pins are really small, so you can really easily lose them, so you have to be careful with that. Now, on to the next ring, which is the timer ring. Hopefully, this will focus. You can see that there is a good groove for moving the timer ring. Slight damage there, and obviously, the inside of the powder trail, as usual. And now onto the actual timer ring where you can see the numbers. You can see that the numbers are in decent condition. Oh, you saw the ball drop out the back there, the ball drops out the hole. So that's the brass ball that would have set the timer off inside there. If it will focus. There we go. And then into the bottom of it we have the base plug, which easily comes undone. Decent threads, it is slightly damaged but doesn't really affect it again. And then we have the detonator and also the spring, which is still springy. Also on the detonator, we have a H mark there, and we also have a H mark there. Now if we go into the bottom of the fuse. This may be difficult to see on camera, but we have a H mark just in there. And we also have a really strange marking 
just in here. I don't know if they think the camera can pick that up. It's like a circle with three lines coming off it. It's like the BSA mark but with a circle instead of a triangle where the points meet. And overall that is a pretty nice fuse. And unfortunately, as you may probably know in, from previous videos, I actually have a 60 pounder shell. But this adapter doesn't fit it because the shell that I have turns out to be American and not British. So I'm struggling to find the adapter for it. That's the reason because it's not British, it's actually American. So I waited so long to buy this and it turned out that I was wasting my time anyway. So now I'm going to have to look for a different adapter. But anyway, so that means that I am going to sell this adapter. Oh, I've already sold it, this is going to Bubblegump9325 so if you keep a look at it in his videos probably next week or so it should, you should see it in his videos which, which will be a nice effect as he's got the shell that will fit on the adapter or the adapter that will fit on his shell even so that will be pretty good so I've also got a couple more fuses and some other nice things to video so keep a look out for my videos in the next couple of weeks and thanks for watching